Hello everyone. We are from Thought BTEC Mechanical Department from Gokaraju Rangaraju Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to demonstrate experiment thermal conductivity of insulating material. Objective to determine the thermal conductivity of an insulating material with different heat inputs. This is the experimental setup to conduct the experiment. Introduction Materials that offer high resistance to the flow of heat are called as insulators. Heat insulators find extensive applications in systems where heat losses are to be minimized, such as transmission line in power plants, furnaces, etc. Insulators have low quotient of thermal conductivity about 0.1 to 1 watt per meter degree centigrade. This setup has been designed to study conduction heat transferred through insulating material and to determine its quotient of thermal conductivity. It is well known that the rate of heat transfer through a material is given by heat transfer rate Q is equal to K into A into delta T by delta X where Q is the heat transfer rate, K is the quotient of thermal conductivity, K A is the surface area of the heat flow, delta T is the temperature difference between the walls, delta X is the thickness of the material. Coming to the apparatus, insulating sphere. Insulating sphere consists of two concentric spheres of 1.5 mm wall thickness. The inner and outer surfaces have 200 mm and 250 mm diameters respectively. The space between the spheres is filled with insulating powder. The inner sphere is filled with oil. Heaters has been installed inside the inner sphere to heat the oil to the required high temperature. Heaters Heater is used for heating the oil inside the inner sphere. In this setup, capacity of the heater is 400 watts. This is the heater switch to on and off the heater when it is required. Voltmeter It is used for measuring the potential difference between the two points in an electronic circuit. Ammeter It is used for measuring the current in the circuit. These both voltmeter and ammeter readings will be used for calculating the power that is supplied to the oil in the sphere. Temperature selector. This indicates the temperature at various locations on the sphere. It consists of different channels to be selected. Thermocouples. These are used for sensing the temperatures at different locations. In this setup, we are going to use the K type of thermocouples. The thermocouples are located at the different locations of the sphere. 1, 2, 3 thermocouples are located at the upper hemisphere. 4, 5, 6 thermocouples are located at the lower hemisphere. And the seventh thermocouple is located at the oil temperature. Thermostat. Thermostat is used to set and control heater temperature. It ranges from 0 to 150 degrees centigrade in this setup. Main on or off. The purpose is to isolate the circuit such that no voltage is present on the live or neutral to make it safe for maintenance. Heat control. It is used for regulating the supply of heat to the oil. Heat control plays a major role in this experiment. At the different heat inputs, we are going to find the thermal conductivity of an the insulating material. In the determination of the thermal conductivity of an insulating material, the next step to be followed is the working principle. In the working principle, the schematic diagram of the heat transfer process through the insulating sphere is shown. This consists of the two surfaces, inside and outside surfaces, uh, on which the different thermocouples are mounted to find the temperatures 
inside and outside the surface into this a heater is connected which is uh, uh, which is penetrated into the surfaces and the electrical energy is supplied so that it converts into heat energy and the temperatures are obtained in the digital temperature indicator and this uh, determination of thermal conductivity of insulating material follows Fourier's law of heat conduction formula uh, Fourier's law of heat conduction law which is given by the equation Q equal to Ka dt by dx Q is the heat transfer A is the surface area of heat flow K is the thermal conductivity of uh, insulating material and then the interesting uh, term used here is the shear factor it is an important factor which is given by the equation 4 pi r naught ri by r naught minus ri where r naught is outside radius of the sphere that is 0 0.125 meters ri is the inside radius of the sphere that is 0 0.1 meters uh, which can be substituted in the shape factor equation so that we find or we get that is the 6.28 meters in the present setup that is used here the shape it is a fraction of the radiation energy that is diffused from one surface element and strikes the other surface directly with no intervening deflections. The other na names of this shear factor is view factor, angle factor and the configuration factor. Here the important thing to follow is to find out the temperature difference that is the Ti minus T0 that is delta T. Ti is equal to T7. Here we will be finding the temperatures from T1 to T7 that is Ti is the summation of temperatures Ti is the T7 T0 is the summation of temperatures from T1 to T6 that is the average then the next step to be followed is the operational procedure in the operational procedure the first and foremost step is to switch on the mains then the console and the heater then the next step is to switch on the thermostat and set the temperature indicating uh, say the required value may be less than 150 degrees centigrade it should never exceed 150 degrees centigrade then set the heater control or the dimmer stat and set the input power to the heater maybe like 100 watts then wait for few minutes maybe 10 minutes still the temperatures are constant that is the steady state is obtained here the steady state is whatever the number of times the experiment may be done the set of readings the values that are obtained are constant that is under the steady state it is a steady state then read the temperatures from t1 to t7 using channel selector and the temperature indicator then read the input power to the heater from the watt meter then using the measured calculations uh, you, we can find the coefficient of thermal conductivity of the insulating material then the next step is we need to note down all the readings in the observation table uh, which consists of the power that is the product of voltage and uh, current and then the temperatures from T1 to T7 T7 is the inside temperature and outside temperatures can be calculated from the summation of T1 to T6 that is the average then the two readings that are shown in the following observation table is that we are that which are obtained uh, in the laboratory that means that which we have undergone from these uh, following uh, readings we can easily find the thermal conductivity of an insulating material using the Fourier's law equation that is Q equal to Ka dt by dx. Coming to calculations the coefficient of thermal conductivity K is given by Q by R delta T. Here Q is power, power input and R is a shape factor and delta T is change in temperature. Now R shape factor we should consider here shape factor because uh, it is not a cylinder uh, it is a sphere the uh, there will be a change in diameter at every cross section when we go into the uh, when you see in the axial direction and then delta t is given by t1 minus to here to is the average of all temperatures all the first six temperatures and ti is the initial inside, uh, inside oil temperature then uh, is the inside oil temperature of the sphere and this is the average of the oil temperatures and it is calculated as the out, outside temperature of the sphere 
delta D is given by inside temperature minus outside temperature or the shear factor is given by 4 pi radius into outside radius in, into inside radius divided by outside radius minus inside radius and here the shear factor is 6.8 meters Q for the first calculation the Q is 43 into 0 0.1 here the 43 watts and 0 0.1 amperes sorry, 43 volts and 0 0.1 amperes it is 4.3 watts it is 4.3 watts and delta T is temperature inlet minus temperature outlet which here is 14.32 degrees centigrade the coefficient of thermal conductivity K is equals to the power which is 4.3 watts divided by shape factor 6.28 into change in temperature 14.32 and the answer uh, thermal conductivity of the insulating material K is equal to 0 0.0478 watt per meter degree centigrade. The table of results is given like that. Uh, we have to, initially we have to write the power input and then the temperature outlet uh, outside the temperature outside temperature inside temperature and the change in temperature and the coefficient of thermal conductivity of insulating material. Precaution: We should use a stabilized power supply, and we should not, we should not give directly a large amount of heat supply, uh, power input. Uh, if, if the temperature is directly drastically increased, and there may be a effect that the insulating material inside the sphere may damage. Uh, the keep the dimmer to start zero before starting the experiment. Use selector switch knob and dimmer. No, gently so that uh, they may damage this one thus the thermal conductivity of insulating powder at various heat inputs has been determined